गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग जयवर्धन सो लेट स्टार्ट योर इंटरव्यू फ्रॉम द टेक्निकल सेक्शन सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर यू इज लेट अस अज्यूम यू हैव रिसेंटली ओवर हॉल्ड अ प्योरीफायर एंड नाउ यू आर पुटिंग इट बैक ऑल द पार्ट्स एंड यू आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द प्योरीफायर सो वंस यू हैव स्टार्टेड यू हैव ऑब्जर्व दैट द प्योरीफायर इज नॉट रीचिंग टू इट्स रिक्वायर्ड आर पी एम सो वॉट आर द रीजन्स एंड वॉट आर द ट्रबल शूटिंग यू विल टेक sir there can be two reasons for purifier not not achieving the required rpm one is that the belt which is driving the purifier that belt is loose okay. or that belt is uh, slight uh, half half broken half broken or not as specified by ma- manufacturer yes sir and okay. the second reason is that the friction pads we might have replaced the friction pads and they might not be according to the required size we might have replaced them according to the wrong size or we, we might not have fitted them correctly and because of this they are not attaching to the surface and uh, because of this particular reason we are not able to achieve the required rpm of the purifier okay so this is the troubleshooting you have done now what are the steps you are going to fix this problem sir i will immediately stop the purifier okay and if the belt is broken then i will change the belt and uh, still if the rpm is not being achieved then i will also check the friction pads okay very good uh, now can you tell me what is the procedure to select a gravity disk how a gravity disk is selected on what uh, basis or, or on the what criteria you will select the gravity disk sir uh, for selecting the gravity disk of a purifier we use one chart called nomogram okay in that we use three quantities with the help of which we select the gravities the three quantities being first one is the temperature second is specific gravity of the oil that we are purifying and the the third one is feed rate yes sir yes sir the feed rate Thank okay you. so by evaluating the three parameters you will select the gravity disk yes sir okay. so now tell me what is the reason of using the multi stage air compressor you must have studied in your graduation also like we use or we prefer multi stage air compressors why sir to achieve the isothermal compression we use multi stage uh, air compressor and because of this we uh, less work is done in order to achieve higher bars of pressure okay very good so now can you tell me the recent electronic engines by the m and b and w so you must be aware that these engines are called me engines yes sir so in me engines how the exhaust valve is operated sir exhaust valve is opened hydraulically and closed pneumatically so can you tell me the pressure at what pressure uh, the pneumatic line does have and what pressure the hydraulic line does have sir uh, the pneumatic line has a pressure of 7 bar okay sir hydraulic line pressure is 230 bar 230 bar Can you tell me how this uh, hydraulic pressure is built up in case of ME engines? Sir, it is op- uh, hydraulic pressure is built up by the HCU pump and with the help of uh, actuator, exhaust valve actuator. Okay, very good. It is get open. Okay. So, can you tell me the tightening procedure of tie rod? Sir, tie rods of main engine? Yes, tie rod of, of main engine. Just like what sequence you will follow? Sir, sequence we will follow. First, we will uh, tighten the tie rod which are at the center okay and then we will go one tie rod we will uh, tighten in the forward direction and after tightening one tie rod in the forward direction from the middle we will tighten one tie rod in the aft direction from the middle and again one tie rod from uh, in the forward direction from the middle and one tie rod in the aft direction from the middle like this we will go okay but we have two tie rods in one unit right so you are saying forward in one and aft in one how about the port starboard yes sir one port and one starboard also okay. in, in the same sequence in the okay. same sequence okay so now can you tell me what are the precautions will you take uh, to enter inside a scavenge space sir to enter inside the scavenge space we need to take the enclosed space permit first in that we need to check first of all we need to isolate the complete main engine and after that we have to ventilate the entire space we have to make sure that the blowers are there there are no toxic gases present so we need to check the toxic gases as well and after making and we need to engage the turning gear also we need to stop the lube oil pump of main engine and after doing all these procedures we do various checks uh in the scavenge space 
we check the condition of the piston the carbon deposits on the piston we check the condition of the piston rings if there are any piston rings broken or crack we also move the piston rings so that we know that they are free and we check the condition of the liner we take photographs of the exhaust valve from the bottom so okay. that we can know the condition of that as well okay that's all for from the technical section Thank you, now sir. as i can see in your mark sheet you have very less marks in uh, marine electrical technology 1 so this subject is uh, uh, from the semester 4 right yes sir. so why you have very less marks in uh, marine electrical technology it's one of the very important uh, subject yes sir i i also believe that marine electrical technology is one of the most important subject and as a marine engineer uh, i should be aware about this particular subject at in fourth semester i agree that i was not very inclined towards this subject and i had a difficulty in uh, reading about electrical things and this is why i was not very interested also in this subject and my marks got low but after that i consulted with my teachers and they let me know about the importance of this particular subject and how important this subject is once i go on board ship so i realized this mistake of mine and since then i have started improving on my electrical knowledge and just if you notice sir after in fifth semester i have improved improved my marks very much in this particular subject and this shows that i am inclined toward learning more about electrical okay so now i have done last question from my side is the person who is waiting outside has 9.6 cgpa yes sir so tell me the two reasons why should i select you and why should i not select him sir i have no reason for you to say that for i have no reason to say that why you should not select him it is completely up to his capabilities uh, i can say about myself for me i can say that i am not extremely good in my studies but one thing i can say that is um, i am a constantly learning i am a person who constantly learns and constantly improves my marks have been improving constantly in each semester in first semester i had the lowest marks but in uh, right now i am in sixth semester and my marks are uh, have been greatest in this particular semester that means that i am constantly learning i am constantly engaging in various projects which are related to marine engineering and this is what i think makes me a eligible person for your company that i will go on your ships and i will make sure that i will work best to the i will work to best of my capabilities okay javedan thing thank you your interview is finished thank you so much sir